So we're getting some reassurances from Alexander Usyk's handlers and also Bob Arum that the fight between Usyk and Fury is going to go ahead and the Hergovic mandatory for Usyk will not be a problem and it won't get in the way. They haven't been specific about why the Hergovic fight won't be a problem or the Hergovic mandatory won't be a problem because there's some speculation that Usyk might vacate the IBF title. Um, I hope he doesn't vacate. I hope that he can do some kind of deal with Philip Hergovic, step aside money, or get some type of exemption from the IBF, because in the rules of at least some of the sanctioned bodies, unifications trump mandatories. I don't know whether that's the case in the IBF rules. I did check, but I couldn't find anywhere that actually talked about their rules regarding mandatory challenges. Maybe some of you guys can go to the IBF website and have some better luck than me, but I couldn't find the bit that talked about all that. I've been to the WBO and the WBC website and looked at their rules, and it's much easier to find their rules regarding mandatories. But with the IBF, yeah, I'm not sure where it is on their website. In any event, it, ideally, I would like him to keep hold of the IBF belt, do some kind of deal with Hergovic. But if push comes to shove, and it's a matter of either vacating and fighting Fury or keeping the belt and having to fight Hergovic first, I would prefer him to vacate and fight Fury. It isn't ideal because even though the fight and what it means to me and most people wouldn't really change if the IBF belt wasn't on the line, the problem is it's no longer undisputed. And what that really means is you're going to have someone else running around and he's going to have his fans making a claim, staking a claim to be the man, the number one, the real champion in the division. That's what you're going to have. And that's what I don't want. I want one champion, at least for one night, right? Or for a few months after, you know, whoever wins the fight, for a few months, they'll have all the belts. That starts a lineage because the lineage was broken after Lennox Lewis retired. That would start a lineage. Some people would say, well, a new lineage started with the Klitschko's, but there was never an undisputed champion under the Klitschko's. So to get rid of all speculation, we could definitely say a lineage starts with the winner of Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk to erase all doubt. Because of course, during the Klitschko era, you had two brothers. That's the reason why we couldn't start a new lineage with an undisputed champion. You can't have two brothers fight each other, right? So, yeah, this way we would have a new lineage and therefore whoever wins the fight would be the man. And again, you could say that's still the case, even without the IBF belt. But it just gives somebody else out there the opportunity. It, unless it's Deontay Wilder, or Anthony Joshua, who managed to get hold of the IBF belt, if it was one of them, then it wouldn't really matter, right? Because uh, Tyson Fury's already beaten Wilder, Usyk's already beaten Joshua twice. So in that instance, it, I wouldn't be so concerned. But if it's like Hergovic who gets hold of the belt, or someone else, again, they're going to stake their claim, I'm the best, this and that, their fans will be saying they're the best. How do we put it all to bed? <laughs> you know, how do we at least temporarily end all this by having one guy with all four belts? And then if he gets stripped to the belts after that, people will understand, well, he had all the belts. He was that one guy, you know? So whether he got stripped to the belts afterwards doesn't really matter because he was that one guy and still is that one guy until somebody can beat him. Anyway, that's my take on it. I hope a deal could be sorted out with the IBF. But if push comes to shove, it is more important. If, again, if I'm to choose, which is more important, Usyk versus Fury, or Usyk keeping hold of the IBF belt, fighting Hergovic first and then fighting Fury, I would say no. It's better to just fight Fury first, even if you've got to give up the IBF. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, it's not because I don't think the uh, Usyk-Hergovic fight is a good fight. It's a great fight. It's a great fight, but Usyk is not going to be around forever. What is he, 35, 36 now? 
Tyson Fury himself is approaching his mid-30s. So we do have to prioritize certain fights. And Usyk Fury is definitely right at the top of the list <laughs> in terms of heavyweight fights that I want to prioritize. So that's the way I see it. Let me know what you guys think.